Star Wars Challenge, this one is a level eight. We're doing it in JavaScript. It's called Total Amount of Points. As always, there's a link to the challenge in the show notes. Try it out before watching the video. You've always got the recording to fall back on if you get stuck. One of the best ways to get really good at JavaScript is with repeated practice. So with that in mind, subscribe to the channel. You're notified every time I post one of these and you can practice along with me. All right, so with that in mind, let's get started. Uh, our football team finished the championship. The result of each match looks like this, X colon Y. Results of all matches are recorded in the collection. Three, one, two, two, one, one. Okay, write a function that takes such a collection and counts the points of our team in the championship. Rules for counting points for each match. Uh, if X is greater than Y, three points. If X is less than Y, uh, zero point. If X is equal to Y, uh, one point. There are 10 matches in the championship. Uh, X is going to be greater than or less than four. Y is going to be greater than or less than four. Okay. Uh, all right. So I think I, I don't know soccer. Uh, so I think we're going to give this a shot, uh, and see how we do. Okay. So what I want to do is let's first off, let's take these, uh, colons here, turn them into, um, Okay, let's do this. We're going to return. So we're gonna have our games. Okay, we're gonna do a map. And then we're also going to reduce at some point. So reducing is just, we're gonna add up uh, our total points here. Okay, so what we'll do here is we're gonna say game. Okay, and so let's do uh, x comma y. We'll, we'll uh, destructure these, whoops. Okay, so we're going to say const const x y is going to be equal to. So we're going to take the game. We're going to split on that colon. Okay, we're going to map those two games, and we're going to do parse int uh, on each of those. We'll do. Well, I guess we can call this s for score. Okay. All right. So now we've got uh, our scenario here. So if x is greater than y we will return the number three. Uh, if x is less than y, we will return zero. Otherwise, we will return one. Okay, so now we're gonna have an array of these points. And so what we'll do is we're gonna reduce. So we'll have a function in here that takes our running total uh, and then the current value. And we're just going to return the total plus the current value, okay? All right, so let's test this out. All right, so far so good. And I think we got it, y'all. Good enough for government work. 